Hi, it's Amanda from Personal Plants, and I wanted to take a minute to talk about quality cannabis. So a lot of folks have been debating what makes a quality cannabis product. And some folks might say THC percentage, which is incorrect. Others might say terpene profile, getting a little closer, definitely has more to do with effect than quality. But I think a really great way to consider quality when it comes to cannabis is to think about how we define quality when it comes to our food, right? So we know that growing our own food is probably the closest relationship we'll have to the end product. When you grow your own tomato and you eat that tomato, you're getting it as the freshest form. You're also getting it with the most nutrients and you're knowing exactly how it was grown and the impact that growing that tomato had on the environment. So of course, I'm a huge proponent of growing your own cannabis because of all of those reasons. But let's say that you can't grow your own cannabis. So what does quality look like? Well, we know that when it comes to buying our food, we try to avoid foods that are highly processed. We try to avoid foods that have large amounts of sugar um, and other chemicals. We might choose foods that are only organic. We might choose foods that are locally grown to reduce the environmental impact of producing that product. And even though we may not completely stay away from junk food or fast food, we definitely try to make it the exception rather than the rule. Okay. so take those same rules and apply them to your cannabis. When you're going in and looking for flour, ask yourself, where was this grown? What was the impact of cultivating this flour on the environment? Um, was this flour grown with pesticides or other chemicals? Was it grown organically? And who stands to benefit from me purchasing this flour? Is it a large corporation? Is it a small farmer? And then apply those same rules to looking at manufacturing products like edibles. How nutritious is this product for me? How much packaging is on this product? And is this packaging recyclable or biodegradable? Who produced this product? And what is happening when I decide to ingest it in my body? What is happening when the company that produced this is benefiting from the fact that I bought this product? You know, cannabis in some ways is a food. It has nutritional value. It has medicinal benefit. And in the same way, purchasing Purchasing products that are not grown in a healthy way that uh, include a lot of other chemicals and processed components are not the healthiest for us. So the next time you go into a dispensary, act like you're going into a grocery store. Think about how you choose which food products to buy and then apply that same logic to purchasing your cannabis products. You can read more at mypersonalplants.com.